Hello guys, it is Silent9, and today I'm going to be going over the Blunderbuss, the cool new weapon, the shotgun that was added in not too, while, not too long ago. Now, I don't have a sniper, so I can't do a sniper, but I did review the STG-44, so go check that out. The link will be in the description of the video, so go check that video out. Now, here's a variant of the Blunderbuss that I did get. It is called a Death Trumpet, Trumpet, and it has minus one accuracy with plus one handling, which isn't the best. It's not really a good variant. The One of the best variants, one of the best variants is a variant that has like plus one range, but this one's okay. It's definitely not the worst. I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know all the variants. I don't know all the stats of all the variants. But that is how it looks. It looks pretty cool. Definitely a pretty cool variant camel. Now here is what the regular blunderbuss looks like. Just everybody's gonna have this if you have the blunderbuss, and it looks pretty cool. Definitely just. It's just not that great of a weapon. Not that great of a shotgun. But here's attachments that I recommend. All three simple as that all three of them and if you want to narrow it down to two i recommend stock and advanced rifling because advanced rifling you definitely need with this gun the range is terrible with this gun you, you just don't understand it's so bad that like the guy has to be like one foot in front of you to even kill him it's so bad and just all three of them is the best that's what i do recommend all three so you don't have to worry about which attachment that you don't want or anything so here's the uh, perks i recommend now i usually don't do perks but i'm gonna do perks now i recommend low profile light rate light weight Ugh, i can't speak one second i'll get down to the perk slot two now the perk slot two is blind eye and ging ho gun ho i don't know but blind eye will just help and that's like gung ho, I don't know how to say that. But here's this, I recommend toughness for a perk 3. Now that's all the perks I recommend. Because, you know, this gun isn't the best. This isn't the best shotgun at all. Like, I wish it would be way better. And, I will show you that it is the second worst range shotgun. But, here's gung ho. I think it's called gung ho, but, as you can see, look at that. You just run with it, you just run with the gun so you don't aim in. And you can kill the enemies faster. Because usually with shotguns, people don't aim in. Is this like the iron sight in this or whatever it's terrible like it doesn't have really a sight just aiming in sucks with this weapon and like a lot of stuff sucks with it and here's the range the range is four and there is a weapon with three and it's called s12 it has three range and that's just bad that's the second bad one and that's not good i wish it would be the first because you can't get it with a splat drop i just don't know why they did that but here it is as you can see you cannot even kill me you have to aim in for this you just have to and look at that you get a hit marker and you have to kill hit him like four times to kill him and the reload speed is exactly four seconds because one second next time i shoot it right about now as you can see one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi five uh, yeah about like four seconds which kind of sucks that's like a really bad reload time like that's terrible for a shotgun you're gonna shoot somebody and you're gonna have to reload and that's gonna kill you because you're reloading taking so long and then they're gonna shoot you if they have a machine gun or a different shotgun since this reload this is like the slowest gun to you re to reload with shotguns now that's such about it just tell you guys that this is definitely my least favorite weapon out of the three that was added in it goes stg for no for the first, last one, the one that I don't like is a blunderbuss, and then it goes the SVO, and then it goes the STG44. That's my order. But anyways, tell me guys in the comments what do you think about this gun. Do you think it's good to you? Do you like it? I don't know if you do. I don't really care about it. Just definitely really hard to use. Not that good. Only like mapped out recommend for you with this one is Chop Shop, Urban, and that's really about it. Like the other maps are like kind of long range, like not good for this gun. Because Chop Shop is very close corners, Urban is very close corners, and that just will get you ton kills. But like Retreat is terrible, Sideshow is really bad. Don't use on that, it's just not a good you know map to use it but anyways that is about it that is my review on this gun definitely not a good gun but hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe to a part of the ninja team today because are we ninja you have to be silent and i'm called silent nine but anyways that's about it peace guys see ya